Over the years, my truck has made some cameo appearances on Outdoor Oklahoma, but I've never taken the time to really show you exactly how I've kind of uh, personalized this to my own needs. So come take a look. It's my deer camp on wheels. Yeah, I could have bought an RV or some type of uh, trailer, but that wouldn't have been near as fun. <laughs> <laughs> to start out with, years ago, like maybe 12 years ago, I had the idea of building in a false floor in the truck bed and then building out some actual drawers for storage space. And there's companies out there that make these, but I thought I could do it myself, a whole lot cheaper, and kind of suit my own needs as I went. So, this is my homemade version. Now to start out with, one of the things that I needed to accomplish was how I could get these drawers out without it really being extremely difficult. So. I made little casters, inline casters that are inset that actually roll on the plywood in the bottom of the bed. I just, I put a, a regular old Coleman cot in here and I decided that that storage underneath the, the cot was a lot of wasted, unutilized space. So I made a little drawer door with a magnet here. And then this can hold things like my tackle bag, camping chair, a uh, little table, um, all kinds of different things I can stick in there. Now, even though I do have a lantern in there that's extremely bright, especially since the inside of the shell is white, sometimes that's a little too much, especially in the evening if I'm just watching a movie on my iPad. So I ordered off of Amazon a little battery operated set of LED strip lighting that I run around the top of the windows, which at night gives me plenty of light without just blinding me with a big bright lantern. So one of the great things about this build is that I've got all kinds of power back here too. I put a, a great big boat battery in a flip up little lid that allows me to have two USB ports and two 12 volts and this little switch boom is lights that run up here to the top of the hatch those little things were cheap but man that lights this whole area up at night it's just perfect now it's not just running on that battery I've actually got a solar panel on the top of the cab and that is essentially keeping this boat battery charged up. The solar panel keeps the battery charged. The battery provides me all this power back here. This is another one of my favorite parts of this whole system. pretty self-explanatory, but this is how I sight in rifles each year before deer season. I've got my own built-in bench rest. Remember your safety. And don't put your finger on the trigger till you're ready to fire. Anytime. Woo! 
So one lesson I learned early on on this build was that I don't have any business trying to climb in and out over the tailgate, especially at my age and when you have to get up several times in the middle of the night. So I fixed up a way that's a lot safer and actually a lot quieter too. Sometimes when I'm deer hunting, I don't want to make a whole lot of noise in the middle of the night where I'm hunting. So I got a row, I bent up a bungee cord hook, drilled a hole right through there. And this is my pull rope once I'm inside to pull the tailgate closed. So I did get a topper on this truck that's a little bit higher than the cab. Uh, the last truck that I had this built in was the cab was, or the shell was as high as the cab, which really uh, didn't give me much headroom at all. So I upgraded to a little bit higher of a cap and I can even sit on a little seat here now um, pretty comfortably. Now, one of my bigger problems is being able to reach stuff when I'm in here without it being a whole lot of effort. So my buddy and I made a little type of uh, adaptive tool that I can use that I can reach things with it from in here that I can literally even turn on my lantern. <laughs> I could even, when it's time for house shoes, I've got those with a string on them. I can move my house shoe around to me or reach clothes underneath here in the, in the shelf. But it, it makes everything accessible from sitting in one spot so i'm not constantly moving around in here trying to reach stuff or get to things so the more i use this setup the more little extra amenities that i find out that i uh, i could really benefit from and one of those was repurposing a phone magnet holder that you would have in a vehicle you know these are very popular nowadays the magnet but boop, it sits right there so that when i'm in bed i can be looking at the phone uh, or easily get to it in the dark when the alarm goes off i also have my phone charger cord that's plugged in way at the front down there on a big long cord that's underneath the cot and comes right here that I can charge my phone off of solar power. One of my more fun creative uh, ideas was how to open that tailgate from inside uh, without sliding out myself onto the floor, which I've actually done. So <laughs> I made a little string that's on a hook that goes down to the tailgate and to open it up, I just pull and voila, it's open. <laughs> so this may be more elaborate than what you would ever need or you might even think of your own additional things that you could do to a truck camp camping bed. But um, this thing saves me a lot of time it saves me gas because I'm not going back and forth hunting every single day. I can camp and hunt right on location. And really, honestly, for me, it's just perfect.